All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we've got a watch from a brand that I've never heard of. This watch came to me by way of Chris Marshall of Herb Marshall Time. I think Wish Do It, I'm going to call it the Wish Do It company, reached out to Chris, got this watch on his channel, and we're going to check it out. Now, this is definitely a watch that's going to take um, a certain style cue, let's say, from a big name brand. Uh, starts with a R, ends with an M. Some people call it Richard. Some people call it Richard. Some people say Mill. Some people say Millier. I don't freaking know, but we're going to check out this watch, and I think it offers you an option if you don't feel like spending, I don't know, the, the minimum of, what, $250,000 on a cheap RM, so let's just go ahead and check this one out. So go ahead and open the box here. I, I have to say uh, I was pretty surprised when I got this box. It's heavy. It's a heavy, heavy box, so I'm not sure if that's just the watch or just the weight of this box uh, itself, but um, it's a special little box, so let's go ahead and open it up here. And you guys can see how it opens like that, kind of clamshells out. But it is a big, big watch. And I do think, really, the weight is in the watch itself. I know the real RMs are using carbon fibers and things like that. So this is a, this is a big stainless steel beast. And it is a big, big watch. Now, pretty cool. Look at that curved crystal. I'm not sure if this is sapphire or not. But it probably is sapphire. It's being used in many, many uh, watches nowadays. Now, right off, you're going to be able to tell this is a quartz watch. You can see that ticking of that second hand. I do believe that is the standard running seconds there. But this is a chronograph watch. As you guys can see, we have pushes, pushers on either end. So let's go ahead and give it a start and see what happens here. Oh yeah, there we can see. That's pretty cool. It's got uh, what, what I call a spinning roundel up there at the top. You can see as that spins, that's giving your timing for the chronograph there. Down here at the bottom, it looks like this is going to keep track of your seconds for that chronograph down there. This is probably one-tenth of a second, I'm thinking, and this is probably going to keep track of your hours or up to one hour for that chronograph functionality. So let's go ahead and stop it reset it yep you guys can see that spin back pretty cool it's like a little it's like a little triangle or a little but you can see the red tip there for that measuring of the seconds on there but really nice looking timepiece looks like it's put together with screws um i do know and i'll have to check it out i do know that some tools actually came with the watch now as you guys can see here on the back uh it says wish do it and there's a picture of what looks to be a I don't know, it looks like a Ford F-150 or something like that. That's kind of interesting. Maybe they like pickup trucks, but never see anything like that. That's odd. So uh, I'll show you some straps we have here with it. And I do believe that down in here, there's some extra straps and there's a tool. And the tool seems to match up with these here. So I think to uh, replace the strap, you probably have to undo some of these screws here. Uh, probably the ones on the front is what's, what I'm most likely thinking there. But cool looking timepiece. You got date functionality. It is a Japanese quartz movement. Um, and uh, like I said, it's a hefty watch. You can see you have that... Um, Wow, that is really wild. That is a big, heavily embossed um, crown there on the watch. I mean, the watch feels super, super high quality. You know, I'm not, I don't know where these things are made, but I wouldn't be surprised if wherever they're made, they're making parts for other big name watch companies. The finish on it's nice. Brushing on top, you can see some polishing along the edge of the case there. Just to give you an idea, let's go ahead and fire up the caliper side to side. Like I said, it's big. It's almost so big, it's kind of silly to measure it. Uh, so 43 and a half, but that's that's not including the pushers, of course, there. So maybe it's not as big, but then end to end is where this thing should be really, I'm thinking really big. Yeah, 49.50. So I guess it's not as big as I thought it was. Thickness-wise, it's going to be thick at 14.4. And I can tell you that the straps on it, uh, you know, these are proprietary. You're not going to you're not gonna put a different kind of strap on this watch. Let me go ahead and grab this one here, and I'll show you. Uh, so this was a real tricky one for me the other day too so there's another strap for it we're not going to put the strap on it but you guys can see it comes with a tool and with that tool you guys can see it's that little star shape there and then you've even got extra screws here so i think to change the strap you need to basically unscrew those screws from the top of the case i'm thinking it's probably these two right here uh, to replace the strap but not quite sure on that water resistance i'm not sure on this one i'm going to say maybe 30 to 50 meters um, it, I don't think it says on the back there. I can't get that to focus there. Japan movement. Oh, it said, yeah, there it is, 50 meters. So not something, I mean, you can swim with it, splashing, get it wet and stuff, but definitely not a, a diving watch or anything like that. So I'm not sure if there's any loom on this, but we're going to go ahead and get it on my 7-inch wrist so you can see what it looks like on there, and then stick around. We'll try to see if it has loom. All right, so here is the watch on my 7-inch wrist, and like I said, it has that 
that RM look, if that's what you're looking for and you can't afford one, which most people can't, they're stupid expensive, and I think they're kind of junky anyways, but somebody's gonna jump on me for that. But anyways, if you're looking for that style of a watch, this one definitely has that look and feel to it. So let's dim the lights and check out the loom. All right, so just dimming the lights uh, for the studio, I can see that this does have loom. So let's go ahead and light it up here. It, it looks like those indices, as you guys can see those, those uh, applied indices there and raised and everything like that. Um, they definitely look like they have loom in them. Yeah, there you go. You even have loom on the second hand there ticking around. You can see your hour hand pip up here, your minute hand down here. So it definitely has loom, so it's gonna work. I'm not sure how long this is gonna last, but it looks like it's applied pretty well, not bad. So, all right guys, I'll leave a link to the Wish Do It website. If you guys wanna pick up one of these watches, I'll also leave a link to Chris Marshall's video on this watch if you wanna check that out. So if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks guys.